everyone. During Lent, we are gonna practice Faith Five. I will be reading a story from a children's Bible and showing you what's inside some Easter eggs from this carton. Gather your family around the screen and let's start Faith Five Easter Eggs in the Bible. Of course, the beginning of our story is when Jesus was born. Woo we just yeah. celebrated Christmas. And you might know the end of the story when Jesus died on the cross, but then he rose Woo and is alive. Yeah. And we celebrate Woo that on Easter. So let's practice faith five. By sharing our highs and our lows. Your highs are things like what went great today or during the week and your lows, not so good. So pause the video and share your highs and your lows. All right, here we go. We're gonna open two eggs today, five and six, as we continue to open all of our 12 eggs. So here we go, five and six. One more, let's open another one. So let's listen to our story today that talks about those objects in those eggs. So you're a king, are you? The Roman soldiers jeered. Then you'll need a crown and a robe. They gave Jesus a crown made out of thorns and put a purple robe on him and pretended to bow down to him. Your majesty, they said. Then they whipped him and spat on him. They didn't understand that this was the prince of life, the king of heaven and earth who came to rescue them. The soldiers made him a sign, our king, and nailed it to a wooden cross. They walked up a hill outside the city Jesus carried the cross on his back. Jesus had never done anything wrong, but they were gonna kill him the way criminals were killed. They nailed Jesus to the cross. Father, forgive them, Jesus gasped. They don't understand what they're doing. You say you've come to rescue us, people shouted, but you can't even rescue yourself. But they were wrong. Jesus could have rescued himself. A legion of angels would have flown to his side if he'd called. If you were really the son of man, you could just jump down off that cross, they said. And of course, they were right. Jesus could have just climbed down. Actually, he could have just said a word and made it all stop. Like he healed that little girl and stilled the storm and fed 5,000 people but Jesus stayed. You see, they didn't understand. It wasn't the nails that kept Jesus there. It was love. Papa, Jesus cried, frantically searching the sky. Papa, where are you? Don't leave me. And for the first time and the last, when he spoke, nothing happened. Just a horrible, endless silence. God didn't answer. He turned away from his boy. Tears rolled down Jesus' face, the face of the one who would wipe away every tear from every eye. Even though it was midday, a dreadful darkness covered the face of the earth. The sun could not shine. The earth trembled and quaked. The great mountains shook. Rocks split in two until it seemed the, like, that the whole world would break. That creation itself would tear apart. The full force of the storm of God's fierce anger at the sin was coming down on his son. Instead of his people, it was the only way God would destroy sin and not destroy his children whose hearts were filled with sin. Then Jesus shouted out in a loud voice, it is finished. And it was, he had done it. Jesus had rescued the whole world. Father, Jesus cried, I give you my life, 
and with a great sigh, he let himself die. Strange clouds and shadows filled the sky, purple, orange, black, like a bruise. Jesus' friends gently carried Jesus. They laid Jesus in a new tomb carved out of a rock. How could Jesus die? What had gone wrong? What did it mean? They didn't know anything anymore, except they did know their hearts were breaking. That's the end of Jesus, the leader said. But just to be sure, they sent strong soldiers to guard the tomb. They hauled a huge stone in front of the door to the tomb so that no one could get in or out. That was kind of a sad story, but remember, we know the end. So pause your video right now and talk about the story. Talk about how those two eggs that I opened up had to do with the story today. Great job! So let's pray. Repeat after me. Hey, God. Thank you for being with us. Always. It was a sad day, but we know the ending. We love you. Amen. Nice. One more step of faith five. Bless the people around you. Put the sign of the cross on their forehead or on their hand. Have them do that to you. You can do a blessing, which is you're a child of God. I'm a child of God. God loves you. I do too. Whatever you want to say to each other at this time, bless each other. God loves you and so do I. 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 Great job! We just finished Faith 5! Go tell everybody about the story. We'll see you next week as we open three eggs! <laughs>